Welcome to NewsX. I'm Akash Soni, and the celebrity guest that we have today is sitting here on my left. He is Sahel Koshik. Sahel is 14 years old, and he's cleared the IIT Junior Junior Entrance Examination. So he will be an IITian now at the age of 14. And not only has he cleared the exam, he is also the Delhi Joint Topper, and his All India rank is 33. And also joining with, joining us in this discussion is Sehel's mother, Dr. Ruchi Koshik. Hello. And we also have uh, Sehel's mentor sitting on my right hand side, U P Singh. Now, Mr. U P Singh has uh, actually uh, taught more than 400 to 500 IITians. They are now IITians. He coached them to get into the IIT. Let's start with the man who speaks very less. We are talking about Sehel. Uh, Sel, are you happy you are number 33 in India in IIT examinations for the entrance? Yes. You are happy? Yes. Did you want to be number one? Or it doesn't matter to you? doesn't matter. You are happy that you are through. What do you want to do next? I want to take up physics now. Okay. And you want to become an? Astrophysicist or particle physicist. Okay. Why? I have an interest in these two topics. Okay, name some of the famous Indian astrophysicists that, that come to your mind. S. Chandrasekhar, Meghnath Saha. Right. Okay, and uh, globally? Mm. Eddington, and Arno Penzias, and Robert Wilson. Right. One very interesting thing about Sahel is that he is just off and on been to a school but largely he is home taught and that is one decision that was taken by his mother. Now uh, Dr. Ruchi Koshik, can you uh, please tell me when did you decide that you will not send Sahel to the school? Uh, actually when he was about two years old, two to three years old, I saw that he knew more than what his uh, peer group would know like he would uh, he was two he knew he could spell words when the other children non, did not even know alphabets when he was three he could do addition subtraction multiplications when the other children did not even know the number so initially I thought let me uh, see if this child is really bright will it carry this brightness or is it just one of those things which just happen and when I started seeing that he was very interested in all the general knowledge and all sorts of topics, I thought let me teach him at home because if he went to school he would be uh, regressing rather than progressing. So Dr. Ruchi Koshik, you are an MBBS yourself, aren't you? Yes. And you are practicing right now? Uh, no, I am not practicing right now. Why? I wa because once I decided to home teach Sahel, uh, well, I had to devote more, my, uh, more of my time for him. So you decided that you will try and help him reach his potential? Yes, more or less, yes, that's what Do I... Do you think he's reached his potential? I think uh, he has achieved uh, quite a lot and I don't want to pressurize him. Hmm. There is no end to achievements. Right. But I don't want to pressurize. He's got a rank of 33, I'm very happy with it. Right. And uh, let's also talk to Mr. U.P. Singh, who is the mentor of uh, Sahel. And now, uh, Mr. Singh, you have coached, I think, at least a few thousand students to appear for the IIT and uh, at least 400 of them are already IITians. How does uh, Sahel fit into that larger group of 400 to 500 IITians? Um, first of all, I would like to say that I am very fortunate that he was my child and I have learned something from him also. Uh, in my 17 years of teaching experience, and five years at Narayana IIT Academy and I have never seen a student like him. Although we have produced uh, top rankers, fifth ranker, sixth ranker, twelfth ranker from my own classroom, but all of them have, all of them do not have the intellectual capacity which is in comparison with this particular boy. He has got very high intellectual capacity. I have always observed that even the toppers cannot match his intellectual capacity. And the difference about him and others is that he does the mental calculation. Even the complex applications where mathematics is required, very high level mathematics is required, he can do it mentally. I will come back to you on uh, how sales mind really works. 
And in fact, um, you say he has a beautiful mind. I love that phrase uh, for you, uh, Sahel. Sahel, tell me, uh, your friends, most of them, are what age group? Mostly they are from um, coaching. So they are at least 16, 17 years old? Yes. And you're 14? Yes. You also have friends your age? Not many. You have friends smaller than you? Not many. Not many. So, you, you, so you're you more comfortable with the, the people who are 16 to 17 years of age? No, I mean, it, it doesn't matter. You, you don't classify people as separately as what age they are. Right. And uh, you love to read books? Yes. Uh, what kind of books do you All read? All kinds. Okay. And uh, any, any book that sticks to your mind which you've loved? Can't decide. Okay. And uh, normally in one day's time, uh, how many hours do you study and how many hours did you study especially when you were preparing for the IIT? Uh, less than eight. Less than eight hours. You never studied more than eight hours. Okay. Suppose, just, just imagine, can you, I'm trying to get you back into that frame of mind when we were, you were preparing for this exam. Suppose you've studied, you're studying, you've studied for six, seven hours and you're tired. What would you do to relax? I never studied for six, seven hours at a stretch. Okay. And to relax, like I would listen to music. Hindi music, English music? H Hindi. Hindi music. Classical? Tell me, but old. Tell me. Old? Mm, 1960s, old music. Who else listens to music in your family? My father. He loves it. Okay. And where is he now? He's in Assam right now. Okay, he works uh, for the army? Yes. Right, okay. Which regiment is he in? I'm, I don't know. Well, uh, Colonel Tapeshwar Koshik, sales father, if you are actually uh, watching us uh, right now, uh, we just want to tell you how proud we are uh, for Sehel and for you and the whole family. And uh, it's wonderful to have him here. Uh, Sehel, anything you would want to tell your father if he's watching the television right now? How did he uh, react when you told him that uh, you you become an IIT topper? You you are ranked 33 in India. He was happy. He was happy. What did he say for, say to you? You called him on the phone. Yes. And you called uh, Tejpur and Assam. Yes. Okay. And what did you say? You you broke the news or your mom broke the news? My mom. And uh, okay. So what did you say? Well, I told you that uh, his health cleared. Right. And he said, uh, all right, uh, what rank? And I said, 33. And he says, that's great. I mean, <laughs> and I mean, we could, frankly speaking, for an hour or two, we could not even digest the news. Right. <laughs> Who told you that you have topped the IIT? My mother. Your mom told you. And who told you? Mr. U.P. Singh rang me up first thing in the morning. <laughs> so you checked uh, the computers for the results? Uh, no, my uh, staff members at Narayana, right. they inform me that Sal has got uh, rank 33. And uh, for us, uh, there was a little bit disappointment, I must share you, because I have always had, in my opinion, he is the topper. Okay. Because he has got capacity to crack any problem. Okay. No problem is difficult for him. It is my opinion. Mm. Okay. So, he is the real topper. Right. Uh, in fact, um, I remember a lot of uh, people who are into yoga are telling me that you know mm. uh, a person who is into yoga shouldn't talk too much, which is what he naturally does. Does, <laughs> right? And also, uh, if you ask him any question, he he'll keep it short and straightforward. Precise right. and to the point. <laughs> does he meditate and all those things? Well, I really don't know whether he meditates or not, but he's so silent, maybe he is doing it. Yeah, he, his mind is perhaps in a meditative state of mind. My. Right. Okay, and you, uh, what else do you like? Do you love to go for long walks? No. Gardening? No. Water swimming? Yes. You love swimming. Uh, you go to swim uh, normally? No, because there's no pool near my house. Okay. Okay, but... Um, is there any particular pool you love the most? You love being in? Yes, I, I like the pools in army camps. Right, the big Olympic size. Okay. And you dive as well? Yes. Okay. From what? 30 meters, 10 meters? 3 five, meters. 3 meters, okay. Okay. So that's your kind of relaxation, right? And um, what kind of music do you like? Um, 
Kishor Kumar? Yes. Okay. Any songs that you remember? No. No. I th- I think your mind doesn't really work like that. You don't sort of classify things into the best and the less good and all that. You just enjoy as and when it is on, right? I think uh, you can help in this. What yes, do you really uh, like? Uh, that's for uh, you really put the the thing on the point. His mind really doesn't work as favorites, unfavorites. He likes he likes it. He doesn't like things. He doesn't. But generally, yes, music. He likes old music. Movies. He likes. Uh, movies like Lawrence of Arabia, I showed him. He mm. loved that movie. Mm. B- uh, Bridge on the River Kwai. He loved that movie, but he did not like Gone with the Wind. He said it was too romantic, <laughs> too mushy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And uh, at what point uh, did you decide?